of the September pick for the Adult Book Club, which is Big Little Lies by Liam Moriarty. So first of all, let me say that I absolutely love this book. I thought it was so, so good. I gave it five out of five stars. It's, it was it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. So quickly, if you don't know anything about my adult book club, I will leave all the information down below. I basically started a book club where we'll read one adult book a month and um, I will make a discussion slash review video for the book and then yeah, that's basically it. I have the Goodreads group down below and my introduction video also linked down below. Let's get started back talking about this. So first half of this video will be a review, non-spoiler review, and then the second half of the video will be a discussion with spoilers while I'll basically just like freak out. So yeah. Okay, so this book is an adult contemporary slash uh, murder mystery book that takes place in Australia in a small town in Australia. And it basically centers around um, three moms at this school who all have children who are starting kindergarten. And um, you have Celeste who's like the super wealthy, gorgeous mom. You have Madeline who is um, remarried and like dealing with the fact that her ex-husband and wife also has a child starting kindergarten at the same school. And then you have um, Jane who is a really young single mom, I think she's like 24 or 25 single mom whose son is also starting kindergarten. So it sort of focuses around their lives but it also focuses on like all the other moms and dads and their dynamics and how you know like at school you have your um, like blonde bobs or what they're called in the book. Those are like your PTA moms and you have the like um, stay at home moms and you have the moms who are like really career focused and then you have your stay at home dads and it's just like all of that interacting and it's really funny. And Leanne Moriarty is definitely poking fun at like how crazy moms can be about their children. How crazy like gossip can be and lies that are spread all about that. And then the other part about this book is you find out at the beginning that someone is murdered but you don't know who was murdered until the very end and you don't know who murdered the person. So I thought that was a really cool twist on a murder mystery because you have no idea. Not only are you trying to find out who murdered the person, you're trying to find out who was murdered. And I really like that about it. I thought it was really clever. It added something more. You're trying to figure out who is who is going to get murdered. Like who who is it? And who is gonna kill this person? So I, I really, really love that about it. Overall I thought this book was really funny and sarcastic and um, it had its really serious moments but it had its funny moments and then the end I couldn't guess I was wrong about who was going to be murdered I was also wrong about who was going to do the murdering I was way off but I think that's what made it so great and I think a lot of people would really really enjoy this book it's so it's very entertaining even though it's like it's a pretty big book it's entertaining throughout it makes you laugh it makes you like reach out for the characters. Like I said, it has its really serious moments and um, it covers some dark topics, but the book overall isn't dark. So that's why I think a lot of people would like this because even though it's a murder mystery, it's not a super dark, like just really eerie murder mystery. It has its funny moments. Um, yeah, so I think if you aren't a big fan of like really dark stories, but you want a little mystery thrown in, you want some funny, some, like some humor thrown in, this is definitely the book for you. It was so, so good. Like I said, I gave it five out of five stars. I would highly, highly recommend this book, especially if you like books that center around like fam like family dynamics. Um, and you would really, really like this book. I love books that focus on family more than like first love or anything like that. I really like books that focus on family. I don't know, there's just like so many more, like you have the dynamics between all the children, between the children and the, and the parents, and then the dynamics between the parents. It's just so good. It's just, I just love that. So this book was amazing, amazing. And I love Leanne Moriarty's writing style. It's just so good and so easy to read. Oh, yeah. So like I said, I highly recommend this book. I think it was a great first pick for the adult book club. I hope everyone else liked it. I know someone said that they, they personally didn't like that they didn't know who was murdered but you know I guess it just depends I really liked it but yeah all right so guys that's the end of my review like I said I really recommend it now I'm gonna move on to the discussion okay guys so first of all um I had no idea Perry was gonna get murdered what but Emma Bonnie was gonna murder Perry what did you guys see it coming 
I seriously thought, first of all, I thought a mom was going to get murdered. Like, I thought Celeste was going to get murdered by Perry. That's what I thought. That was my guess the entire time. But then I also thought maybe Madeline was going to murder someone because she was a little crazy. You know, she was a little cuckoo. She was, I don't know. I thought it was so good. I thought it was a little, like, um, a little over the top that, like, Bonnie, like, pushed him and then he died. That seemed a little bit too dramatic for me. But it was still really, really, really good. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then when you found out that Perry was, um, oh, what's his name? Baxton? I forgot his name. The one that, like, that Ziggy's dad. He found out Perry was Ziggy's dad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I, did, I didn't see that coming. Oh, oh. And then, like, Celeste's reaction, it was just perfect. I, I love that whole scene on the balcony. That whole scene on the balcony was just, like, perfect to me. What did you guys think? I thought it was so good. And the other thing I love is, like, um, is, is Ziggy. Did you guys, I just love Ziggy. That scene where she said, um, where, like, he found out that none of the kids were, like, wanted to play with Ziggy, and then he was in his room, like, crying. Oh, my God. My heart, like, broke for him. Oh, so sad. Oh, it was so sad. But, yeah, I just loved it. And I loved how she also had it where, um, like, the characters hid things from us as well, you know? Like, you didn't find out to the end that Jane, like, specifically moved to the city, to the beach, to, like, find Baxton, or what, did, I feel like I'm getting his name wrong, Sa Saxton, what, you guys know what I'm talking about, Ziggy's dad, like he didn't find out that she was moving to the beach until like she admitted it to herself, and then you found out that she was doing that, you know, I thought that was so good, because isn't that like how it is, like you don't admit things, to you. if you can't admit things to yourself, then the reader shouldn't know about it either, I just thought that was so brilliant, and I liked it better than The Husband Seeker, if you read The Husband Seeker, which book did you like better? Because I like this one, not a lot, like a whole lot better, but I liked it better. I gave The Husband's Secret 4 out of 5 stars, and I gave this one 5 out of 5 stars. I definitely, if you like this book, you will like The Husband's Secret. And because that book has sort of the same formula in that, like, it switches perspectives between different moms. You have the family dynamic. You have, um, you have, like, a big mystery that you're trying to solve. So it's like, if you like this book, you will like that book. That book was really good, but this one, this one, I personally like this one better. I don't know. I just connected more with the characters in this one than in the other book, but the other book was still really, really good. So you guys, that's the end of my video. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for everyone who joined in with me in reading this and joined the group. I was like kind of scared that like I would have like two people <laughs> in the group, but I'm really glad that more people are in it and want to read books with me, adult books. I'm so happy. So yeah, um... Leave comments down below. Let's talk about it. I'm really, really excited. I really liked it. And I have my announcement video for the pick of uh, October up already. So go ahead and watch that. Or if you're in the group, you already know by now. So I'm really excited. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.